This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to another edition of a challenge simulation, whatever you want to say it is, in NHL 19. Today, I think you can very easily, by title alone, plus what you're seeing on your screen, guess what we're doing. So, guys, right now, what I'm going to say is if you love these challenges, let me know. I want to know. You don't have to leave the like right away. You can kind of see what the video is all about today. But if you love these challenges and you want to see more, I'm trying to hit 15 likes for another challenge. Now, what I'm also going to propose to you is if you want another challenge, comment below what you want for a challenge. I kind of like these simpler challenges, just easy. Do a click or two and get into the simulation challenge. I want to try and bring a harder one at some point when I have a little bit more time, probably around Christmas, we'll do something a little bit more extravagant. But like I said, 15 goals is the like goal to get the next challenge video. Anyways, I'm Tyson, this is any TV. Let's get right to it. What are we doing today? What are we talking about? Milan Lucic, Leon Dreisaitl, Jesse Pugli RV. What? What's going on here? This doesn't make sense. Where's Connor McDavid? Connor McDavid is gone. He is over in Europe, refusing to come back. Something followed happened. And now we get to see what the actual Oilers look like without their McJesus, right? So all of a sudden, you have Milan Lucic, Leon Dreisaitl, Jesse Pugliarvi as the top line, Tobias Reeder, Nugent Hopkins, and Drake Kajula as the second line, Raddy, Strom, Kazian as the third line, Shieson, Kara, Brodziak as your fourth line. Who the heck is scratched? Well, you're actually not seeing too many people scratched. It looks like everybody except for Kyler Yamamoto is in the lineup. That is rough. That is rough. Defensively. Clefbaum, Larson, Sekera, Nurse, Benning, Russell, Bouchard, and Nielsen is the guy we switched for Connor McDavid on the roster. That's as simple as it gets. So obviously we have to do one last thing. We have to get Evan Bouchard in here for Andre Sekera. And now you get to kind of see how bad the Oilers might actually be according to NHL 19 without Connor McDavid. Why am I doing this challenge? Of course, you guys saw me post yesterday. I lost quite a few subscribers for voicing my opinion that Connor McDavid is the issue in Edmonton. But now we get to see what the passengers, per se, get to do without them. Are they a playoff team? What does NHL 19 think? Of course, Cam Talbot in net with Miko Koskinen backing him up. Let's go find out. We have to go figure out if this team is indeed still a team that can function without Connor McDavid. Top line looks kind of dusty. Pooley RV and uh, Dry Saddle Lucic. But you see, we pull out a win, we pull out two wins. Is this possibly a different story? Like, all of a sudden, 4-3 yeah, over top of Winnipeg. Okay, you know what? Hands off. Maybe I'm wrong on this. We're 4-3 and three to start the year, lose 7 nothing. Okay, now we're starting to see some cracks in the foundation. Minnesota, Chicago, we're 5-7, five 5-8. And five and yeah, okay, now we're starting to see things the way I was kind of picturing them being. 6 and 11, 7 and 11, 7 11. Hey, 7 go, boys, 7 go. 9 12, okay, not as bad as I thought. Honestly, this team looks a lot worse on paper than they have performed right below 500. You know what? 11 and 14, three games below 500 would not be a bad finish. But again, guys, you're seeing exactly what I've been talking about for the longest while when it comes to me simulating an NHL 19. And the fact that I just don't get shootout or overtime losses for whatever the reason may be. And that is a very big disappointing factor. 11, 14, and 0. Nugent Hopkins, your points leader with 15 points in 25 games. Clefbaum with 14. Pulley RV 14 as well. He is still sitting at that 79. Dry Saddle 13. Kajula 12. Lucic 12. Strom 10. And everybody seems to be putting up points. Okay, this is a little bit more shocking than I thought it was going to be. As you see, Sekera, Yamamoto, and Nielsen, the only guys without points. But the goaltending has been the bigger issue without Mr. Connor McDavid. Miko Koskinen, absolutely getting blown up there. 873, 391 goals against average. Oh my goodness, that is rough for Miko Koskinen. So he's the reason we're as bad off as we are. So let's go see. After another nice run, what the Oilers look like going into the new year. Okay, 3-2 shootout. Okay, you know what? 14-5, they're playing hockey. They're playing hockey together as a team. And, you know, 15-1, 16, 
16, 17, 16, 18, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm going to probably say that the entire video, but guys, what are you thinking? Let me know your comments now. Comment right now. What are you thinking on this video? Are you thinking this was a good experiment? I'm thinking, honestly, we're seeing kind of the results we thought we would. A lot of seven goal games for whatever reason. Six goals there. 2-1, all of a sudden we keep it 2-2-0. Two, two, now, we're, now we're falling wheels off the wagon, that's for sure. Detroit, we at least get the last win of January and now against Philadelphia. We're a 21-28-1 club. You take away six of those losses for overtime losses and suddenly we're not looking half as bad as we are. But like I said, simulation never allows me to have overtime and shootout losses. And if it does, I always have more than I do victories for whatever reason. So we're looking at a weird kind of go so far this simulation. Nugent Hopkins, 30 points in 50 games played. Strom with 29. Strom having a heck of a year. 28 for Dry Settle, 26 for Kajula, Clefbaum, 26. Then you got Pooley RV with 24. Clefbaum coming out of nowhere. Lucic 24. Ratty 19. Like this team not doing too bad at all. Bouchard, Benning, Larson, Russell. Everybody's got good points, but it is indeed the goaltending error biggest issue. 304 goals against average for Cam Talbot. 367 for Miko Koskinen, who has some reason seen 21 games played. I mean, when you have two goaltenders that can't save a puck to save their lives, that would kind of be the factor now, wouldn't it? So let's go get the season over with and kind of review what ends up taking place the rest of the way home. Can we end up winning? We win 4 nothing back-to-back -back games, then get shut out. That's about right. That sounds right. San Jose, 4 0 shutout. Shutout twice in one week. 6 5 loss. Oh my, lots of four goal losses or more there. 3 1, 24 and 34, 24 and 35. You see how important Connor McDavid is? You imagine this? Probably around a 30 win club right now if Connor McDavid's still here. Trade deadline, we don't need to start simulating and we're getting a trade offer. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be a Lucic trade offer? Why did we stop? Oh, I hit stop simulating. Oh my god, boys. Oh my god, what am I doing? Absolutely brutalizing it. 3-2, 3-2 loss again, and all of a sudden we win finally against the Leafs, but we're a 40 loss club. 40, okay, are we gonna ever lose a game again? Yes sir, 41 games, we've lost more games than we can possibly win this season. 29, 30, 44, 30, 45, and okay, you know what, not a bad finish as I thought. We're a lot worse off, but somehow we end up finishing 32 wins on the regular season. That is not a good go for our Edmonton Oilers. That was a rough, rough finish, that's for sure. Where do we finish in the uh, when it comes to standings overall as a whole? Leon Dreisaitl, 58 points in the year. Puts up 30 goals. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's go see. Entire league, no data to supply. Okay, hold on. We just need to go find our stats. And where do we find conference stats? I don't know. You know what? You see the stats, right? Leon Dreisaitl, 82 points, 30 goals, 28 assists, 58 points. A rough go. You see what the results are right there for the Edmonton Oilers. A not so great time without Connor McDavid. Let's go. Not entire league. We want Edmonton Oilers. Can we get regular season stats? They're just going to show the playoff stats. What the heck is going on here in season mode? Normally we can review this kind of stuff, but we'll go edit the lines and I will show you exactly what this team finished with. Milan Lucic, well, how many points? 52 points. So Lucic top line time gets good points. Jesse Pugliarvi, 40 points in top line time, not bad. Tobias Reeder, 28 points, good season for him. Nugent Hopkins. How about a big old 50 point campaign for Nugent Hopkins? So you see this team wasn't nearly as bad off as you could possibly put them. 43 points for Drake Kajula on the second line. Ty Ratty, 27 points on the third line. Ryan Strom, how about 40? This team put up a lot of good points without Connor McDavid. Just a matter of uh, Connor McDavid really could have transformed what this team did this year. Jujar Kara puts up 25 points. The big thing you need to be aware of is what Oscar Clefbaum did. Now that's Oscar Clefbaum, beautiful. 45 points on the season for the Oilers this year. And Cam Talbot, numbers say 303 goals against average, 906 save percentage, 25 wins, 
38 losses, 64 games played. Brutal. Miko Koskinen, probably even worse, 8 wins, 12 losses, 888 save percentage, and a 351 goals against average. Guys, that is the Edmonton Oilers without Connor McDavid. The goaltending can't save us, nor can the offense. I'm Tyson. This has been Dolan ATV. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I said, 15 goals is the light goal for the next challenge. I will catch you guys in the next one.